And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and to everybody on YouTube for our first deck with the new expansion. We got Monuments of Power is now out for Legends of Runeterra. Let's get going. We're going to be playing some awesome decks today. If you can see on the, the left hand side, we're going to be trying first, we're going to be trying two new brand new landmarks. We're going to be trying the University of Piltover here. Then we're going to go into the Howling Abyss. And then finally, we're going to have the new champions with Tom Kench, Soraka, which, uh, and uh, Shivana with a dragon deck. And may may switch the orders of these a little bit. But um, let's, let's start with a card that I'm super excited about, the University of Piltover. I think this card is pretty awesome. We're just going to put it into just kind of generic discard burn and see how it does there. Um, so this is going to be our top end card. So we're going to have three copies of it. Round start, we're going to discard our hands and then create three uh, three other just random cards in hand. Give them fleeting every single turn. We'll still draw our card for turn. So every single turn we'll be having four cards to choose from. If we have a leveled up Jinx, which of course we'll have our hand discarded. So we can play Jinx on four. We can play Piltover on five and immediately level up Jinx. Um, and level of jinx will of course draw an extra card for us so we could be getting five new cards every single turn and some of them won't be very good it will be random some of them will be great it should just be a whole lot of fun to see what happens um so yeah let's start let's start with this brand new landmark first time playing a landmark we got a new board and everything let's go play some ranked we're gonna go play five games over there and really try this out let's see how it does but yeah we're, we got all three of the new champions on the docket with Shivana and uh, Tom Kench Soraka. Um, oh my gosh, are we just playing a mirror match? <laughs> right away? Uh, maybe. Maybe. Alright, we're gonna keep this. This looks pretty good. We'll have Urchin be able to discard Flame Chompers. New boards looking pretty cool. Yeah, I was thinking a lot of people would probably be playing like you know, Soraka right away and uh, like a slower deck and then it would give time for the University of uh, Piltover to do its thing. They said hello, I'm gonna say hello back. Okay, well we just trade one drops. But we also got a free Flame Chompers in play. We'll have our four mana, or four cards in hand still. I can do this. So, let's see. Like, so I want to play Draven's Biggest Fan so they can have Draven next turn. Yeah, we're just going to do that. How Spider would be better to play against Boom Crew Rookie. Put this here. Uh, does he do this? But, oh well. I hope this works. All right, so Draven will get the spinning axe. I'll be able to use the spinning axe on the flame chompers and have the flame chompers challenge the boom crew rookie to kill the boom crew rookie. So we got to discard something. And... Um, I don't really want to discard Jinx, so we're looking at, like, the other two cards. I kind of think the crowd favorite. I'm kind of thinking the crowd favorite. Just basically because, just for mana considerations, because it costs four mana also. Alright, so what do they got? Oh, they got their own Draven. So playing Jinx will give us the get excited to be able to use on the Draven right after this. Looks like they're going to challenge and kill my challenger with their spinning axe, maybe? Jinx has one damage on it, so that could just could definitely be a mystic shot over there. Let's see. So I'm probably just gonna be playing both get exciteds. 
here, I'm pretty sure. We're gonna just attack with Jinx and uh, see what happens. Got an axe with your name on it. I'm not exactly expecting that set. Okay, I was gonna say, like, the only reason to block there would be they're using, like, their own Get Excited or something on my Jinx. Okay, cool. So with it just being Mystic Shot, we can level up our Jinx and have it survive. The other thing is I could just I could just let it die and then just play new Jinx. That may honestly just be better. Just so it doesn't have any damage on it, so we have a nice full healthy Jinx instead of a one health Jinx. Uh, that's not gonna kill it. They're gonna spinning axe. Rules are made to be broken, like buildings or people. I wonder if they're just playing my same deck. <laughs> I wonder if they are. So it definitely seems like. So I want to level up my Jinx, and I think this is the best way to level up the Jinx. Is to play it like this, where then we draw the uh, Draven right afterwards. Else. <laughs> yeah, and they're thinking the same thing. So unfortunately, like we're we're pretty even, but they have the you know the University of Piltover. That card is absolutely amazing. We got a Draven. You know, so we're basically even with Landmark versus Draven. And I'm not... Not convinced of our plan, of our ability. Oh, that's pretty great. All right, let's see. This is awesome. All right, we're gonna attack like this. I'm so jealous that my opponent gets to play University of Piltover first before I do. I mean, that's all I wanted to do. I'm so jealous. Yeah, I know. Yeah, university does seem really fun. We don't. <laughs> Unfortunately, we don't get it. I wish we did. All right. Hopefully, the Super Mega Death Rocket takes down their Jinx. That's the plan. Blessing of Targon. And just what a card. University of Piltover. What a card. Hey Tragus, doing good? No one's the wiser. Oh, it is a great day for a I should play Battlecaster first. I'll be able to rummage away vision and get a super mega death rocket. Hey, Silky Mints. I'm just pretty jealous of our opponent's deck.
doing the same thing that we're doing, but they get the landmark. More powder. That's probably going to kill me. And there we go, Silky Mints with that resub. Thank you so much, Silky Mints. GG's. We got out landmarked. First game mirror match. Hey, Leo. All right, playing some Shivana. All right, playing against Shivana for the first time. So I kind of like this, like where we have House Spider and Battlecaster, then we can get excited, discard this vision, grow these things, and we go wide. I like that. The, the thing I don't like about this hand is we don't have anything on turn one, but that's okay. Never mind, we have something on turn one. So I guess I just discard the vision. Not the best use of vision, you know, with having these other things, but I think it's definitely worth getting the one drop in play right away. Cool. Would it be cool if PNZ's landmark was Heimerdinger's effect? Not really, because then, then you, you just get, you know, like you can play that with Heimerdinger then, and then you just, you know, get like a, you know, a whole bunch of those in your deck. I think it's, I think it's more cool that it's something different, something completely different. And, um, the party has you know, I, I think that's better. I think it's better to have just different things and not just so you could just like load up on six copies of Heimerdinger's effect. What are they doing over here? Are they still passed on turn three? Shroud the world in wings. What are they doing over here? Just taking it all? Taking 14? That's not a... That's not a, an advisable action. Just take 14. So it's... You know, basically, they can have Guiding Touch or they're dead. Alright, well, that was fast. I think their Dragon deck, they either mulliganed into a really bad hand or they kept a really bad hand. One of the two. Alright, so same thing, playing against some Shivana Dragons again. I am... Um, okay, we don't have the attack token turn one. I'm also assuming our opponent is going to keep a much better hand. Um, I'm going to just mulligan these, keep a jury rig. Yuck. This time I get the ugly hand. We are like one like rummage away from this being acceptable. I mulliganed you away, Arena Battlecaster. All right, their hand is much better. <laughs> they get the attack token turn three. Have this Herald of Dragons. All right, so this is basically the opposite of last game. Yeah, the exact opposite of last game. <laughs> their hand's awesome. My hand is horrendous. I guess I just hard cast these jury rigs and everything. And make this crowd, you know, to make this crowd favorite bigger. I guess I don't have to do it right now. I salute you. The heart's as big as his biceps. It's Vasid. All right, Vasid. Do some work. Next turn, we're going to play the University of Piltover, which will round start, discard these two visions. I can't attack and have the Battlecaster pump up the Flame Chompers to be able to take down the Herald. Kind of the plan. Um. 
Okay, they're going to keep both their dragons alive. Which means that Shivana is almost leveled up. 11 out of 12. Hmm. I'm playing the university, so we don't get any rummage value here. My shield is yours. That's pretty rough. Yeah, so their their hand was ended up being very good. <laughs> right. Turn three Shivana, turn four challenge dragon. Much different. I'll be surprised if we win this from here. We'll have to see what our landmark does, but we're gonna be I'm gonna be very surprised if we can win this game from here. Got. The biggest problem is we just don't have time on our side. Else? <laughs> Over, you know, like if if we each had a hundred more life, I think we would win. Like I think that the University of Piltover would just grind them down. But that's not the case. We have seven life. The storm approaches. All right, GGs. I mean, honestly, I don't. I don't necessarily think you know, like they just had a great hand. I don't necessarily think that we're always going to lose to Shivana Dex, as we saw we won the first game on turn four. Okay, so we have Rummage for Vision, and then Jinx. I like this. You know, not playing Rummage on turn one. Wait till we play, like, House Spider on turn two. Probably play something else on turn three, and then use this one mana that we'll keep for spell mana. And then Rummage. Hopefully have something else to play on turn three first. Zonite Urchin. Okay. Yeah, this looks like an ephemeral deck with bilge water. So, um, you know, going with vulnerable. So, like maybe maybe it's like the undying and vulnerable. All right, maybe I'm not rummaging. Let me just do this. Raven's biggest fan. This. That's attacking for a lot. We have 4, 7, 11, 14, 17, and they just take it all. What's the deal with people just taking 17 damage on turn 3? <laughs> that's, that's not a new thing. <laughs> that's our second opponent to just take 17 damage on turn 3 and be like, that's fine. So I can... We don't get to keep Draven, which is sad, but I'm going to play Jinx and level up Jinx right away. All right, well, they're, they're obviously attacking, so I'm going to wait till after they attack and do a little bit of blocking. So we can discard this Flame Chompers and put it into play. Uh, and just a little bit of blocking, right? Yeah, go down 14. So, so far, if we do 17 damage on turn 3, we haven't lost, but if we don't do that... Yeah, this is us doing 17 on turn 3 and then turn 4 leveling, you know, playing a leveled up Jinx. That's usually pretty good. All right, GG's.
Two and two. Oh man, Wither, yeah, Wither and Whale would have would have been devastating. Okay, Trundle and Tom Kench. First time seeing Tom Kench. So pairing it with Trundle, so pairing it with some Frostbite. Um, we don't really have the things to discard for Rummage this time besides Spinning Axe. I think we mulligan. No, I, I like Poro Cannon more than Brother Spawn. I, I I would rather have just another discard outlet, which is good. It's always good having a lot of discard outlets. So I like that. But then I also like... Um, hey, Ramen. Thank you so much for that Twitch Prime sub. Five months. I appreciate that. Uh, but then I also like the ability of Poro Cannon to make multiple threats and the elusive threats they can get through if like the ground's kind of... Gummed up. I, I like what Poro Cannon's doing in here. What am I doing? Am I rummaging or anything? Am I, am I gonna Poro Cannon away this and just play some Poros there? I have the best job. Axes coming right up. Warm hearts and hot soup. Good play. Got lots of cards in hand. Table for one, if you oblige. All right, so plan here is to go wide. Daring Poros and Arena Battlecaster. Slow. There's a will, there's a meal. All right, so do I attack right now, or am I trying to play another Battlecaster? I feel like they're gonna frostbite, right? Like if I try whirling death, they're just gonna frostbite. That's what it really feels like. Go frost. Let's go here. So if they frostbite, they're frostbiting the three one. You know, just new decks. It's gonna take it's gonna take a little bit to kinda of get used to playing against new decks. So I had five mana. I could have gone another battlecaster and then see if like if they play the acquired taste, um, then I would have been able to uh, Like if they would have gone acquired taste, then I would have still been able to go um, I should have played the Draven's biggest fan first, by the way. Then I'll be able to play my my new Draven. Yeah, maybe it's just Freljord for just toughness healing things for the Tom Kench. And that's what it's all about. Winter is the Freljord's true ruler. Raven, I love you! Me too, kiddo. Me too. Ooh, I like that. I like that. Uh, 
I'm obviously playing the Get Excited, and I think that I'm playing University over Jinx. I'm sorry, Jinx. But at this point, you know, I just want to create three random cards. Every turn. Okay, so yeah, maybe it's just for Yord for the for just health buffing. Not frostbite. Bayou brunch. Come along. There's room for Bring me the call for the night shrouded world. So I don't know, I guess so they ate the rhyme touch shaman, so like that resets the rhyme touch shaman to being a three three again instead of being a three six, but it does add in three extra points of health to the Tom Kench. The frost revealed all. Alright, university. I'm sure there's something for my taste. Okay. Those cards weren't very good. United, nothing can stop us. We'll admit that. Or shadow to cut through the light. Yep. It's too late now. Just you and me, fish bones. <laughs> Surround them. I do enjoy prospecting. Okay, so we want to block Tom Kench, I guess. I don't know what I want to block Tom Kench with. I mean, well, obviously we're blocking, but my basically am I going to use the shadow, the shadow blade on it to try to hurt it more? I don't know, maybe not. Let me just do this, take out their 4-4. Four, four. Obviously our our Jinx is about to die like this next turn, but it'll draw an extra card here. She who wanders? Why don't I have one extra mana? That would be awesome. Get rid of this Rhyme Touch Shaman. This is awesome. Yeah, I'm out of play. Hey, Cotterox. Yeah, this has been a pretty cool combo they got online with the Shaman and the Tom Kench. Guess that's just gonna get to fleeting. Do fleeting don't get discarded. I have faith in our university. We're getting you know just these three random cards every single turn. I, I have faith that we're gonna find something that's gonna be good. Let us peruse this establishment fair. Maybe not. Maybe not. Still getting a couple of new cards every single turn. Ooh, we got a new landmark. 
Our strongest ally will strike their weakest enemy each turn. Okay. New landmark time. So I want to play the Get Excited. Honestly, it doesn't seem like this landmark's going to be worth it, will it? Does it? Right? Because, like, they're... <laughs> if I kill this Rhyme Touch Shaman, their weakest enemy is going to be bigger than mine. Is this even going to work? <laughs> I guess we're going to get excited. Like, they can sit here and do this all day and, like, eat one thing, but we're getting four cards every turn. Like, we're gonna be fine. Just keep it coming, University. Nopify? We can nopify this acquire taste. That seems ideal. Let us reconnoiter. Got our second nightfall card. I don't think a second University of Piltover does anything, right? No, I don't, I don't think a second one does anything. Like, basically, we would just create three random cards and then just discard those three random cards and then create three more. So it just it just doesn't make sense to play it, put it on the board. So yeah, the, the second one isn't going to do anything. This university's been pretty sweet, though. Hear that. Bullseye. Gotcha. <laughs> we're gonna be playing. We were gonna be playing Soraka today. Yes. See, these are the decks that we're going to be playing. We're going to be playing Tom Kench with Soraka later. So let's see. They're passing with, like, all these cards. I mean, I can't really pass because i got to play Get Excited. Tell me where to aim. Stand and defend! Could definitely just have more Tom Kenches in hand. Yeah, that's what it looks like. They're just waiting for a second Tom Kench. Is expensively unique. Yeah, because that one has Overwhelm. That's a problem. Now, now we're running into real problem status. I guess I could be just going upstairs, putting them down to two. I guess that, that's actually probably what I should be doing. But yeah, now we got real problem status. With Overwhelm. Keep on pumping up that thing. Oh, that's why. Alright, we need to draw... Hush? <laughs> vengeance? Come on, Vengeance! No, stop giving us this Noxus one. Ooh, Concerted Strike! Oh, that... We can't do enough damage. 
<laughs> the War Mother will unite us all. Uh. All right, so walk here. Go down to two. This could be kind of cool with the, you know, with the vulnerable. Let's put Tom Kench down to three health. We still got this. Man, if we win this, this is like games of the week for sure. If we win this. Oh man, shipwreck order? Neverglade Collector? Oh no. So we can only play we can only play one of these three. And I guess it's Shipwreck Order, right? Man, Neverglade's really tough also. It's gotta be Shipwreck Order. But like, you know, like it's two to five. Like, you know, we need that extra life with the drain, but then we also want to do the damage to them. I mean if they eat Neverglade, I can cast Vision and make Neverglade three power. Alright, let's go Shipwreck Order. I don't I don't know. That's that's so close. All right, so you challenge over there. I guess you challenge here. That's probably not a great challenge. Maybe we just challenge there. I mean, I guess I could I could just challenge these like this. And they can only block one of these two. As far as staying alive goes. Uh, hmm. So now this is going to leave me with one block. Yeah, that's, that's just a big problem. That's a big problem. Oh, they didn't. Oh, they didn't play the acquired taste. They could have and, and killed my sheriff, but I guess they don't. They don't want to. I don't know. No, demolitionist. So I need to play. So I need to play the Neverglade Collector. I guess. I don't know. That was so close, man. So close. But just this overwhelm, 17 overwhelm just ends the game. Uh, Neverglade, Neverglade wouldn't have done it either. Yeah. So close. That Avaros and Outriders giving that thing overwhelm. That's what I was saying, like before, before that happened, I was saying that, like, our university, we were perfectly fine. Uh, we never found a, a great removal, sp you know, we never hit any removal spells with the university at all. Um, I I need to ha I could have, like, the get excited to kill their thing, that maybe if I would have gone upstairs, then then we would have had the Neverglade Collector. I guess I need, I need whenever they're at five, I could have get excited them and put them down to two, and then our very next one, we hit the Neverglade Collector, and maybe we could have killed them with those, with that combination, but... I guess they would have like frostbitten. Yeah, I mean that actually that probably would have done it if I would have just get excited upstairs. That probably would have done it. Oh well, still really cool, really fun to play. Brand new card there with the University of Piltover. That was a lot of fun. Like that game was really fun, even though we lost it because you know we're just getting three random cards every single game and or every single turn. Sorry, and uh, hoping that those three random cards each round, you know, we're going to be awesome. Uh, sometimes we got some good ones. A lot of times we didn't get any good ones, you know, but it's just, uh, you know, just rolling the dice. And that's pretty sweet. So that was a really good showing there for University of Piltover. Just, just so you could see what it could do. Because obviously if we didn't have that, if we just had like the six mana draw three, they would have just gone through those three cards with the, that Tom Kench combo super fast. And we would have been dead. 
you know, five turns beforehand. But getting four cards every single turn, they just weren't able to fight through that. So, uh, yeah, like they needed their they needed their Tom Kench to die and get that other one out with the overwhelm. Man, if it wasn't for that overwhelm. All right, but anyway, uh, that's it here for Discard University. Pretty sweet. Real happy with that. Uh, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I'd appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.